about this. Jeremy's bleeding. The whole colony drying. Almost there. The terminal. View priority messages. Chairman, the rough cut of the presentation is prepped to play. <laughs> the PR department has a lot of work to do, but we've covered covered the basics. Halcyon is on the brink of starvation. The board scientists are working on a solution. Workers can look forward to the lifetime employment program for their chance to contribute. <laughs> lifetime employment program. Good grief. <coughs> You'll see the current version when you print your key card for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. And yes, before you ask, the dimeth dimethyl sulfoxide has been delivered there. It's waiting for your sign-off on the ball broad strings, so I wanted to make sure you saw it. Don't worry, I'll make sure it gets properly edited. Safe for air. Route, personal files. What's taking so long? Percival, how long does it take to clear out an abandoned office? Toss Clark's belongings into the streets of Byzantium for all I care. He's not using them. Just get my office, ex office expansion done before I return. I'm tired of staring at that hole in the wall. And for law's sake, do something about that doom and gloom presentation. We have the brightest minds in Halcyon working in our public relations department, and they make this announcement sound like a damn funeral elegy. We need something bright and cheerful. We need something we can sell. See ya. Masseuse? Percival, reschedule my regular Wednesday massage. I have urgent matters to attend to off site. Hmm. Food reserve. Chairman, I've made inquiries and can confirm that we have plenty of food, real food, stored away from our inter-colony trade. The nutritional profile of food produced within Halcyon has continued to decline. Soon people are going to start feeling hungry no matter how much they ate. Unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive to continue buying from even the closest colonies, but what we have will sustain Byzantium and a minimal workforce for the foreseeable future, Sophia. Interesting. Chairman, the heads of the other nine corporations are up in arms about their shares again. As head of UDL, you can overrule them easily, but I thought you should know their assets again, Percival. Hmm. Okay, let's print the ministry key card. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, uh... we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. <laughs> Everyone will slowly stop living <laughs> from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. <laughs> but I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist, but let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. Oh my so, god. So, obey your 
your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Story, wasn't it? That was beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Pavati! Felix, where did you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I fuck. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> You've learned the de de methyl sulfoxide is at the Ministry of Accuracy, along with whatever Chelman Rockwell is working on. <laughs> the board are now mixed. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> love fucking over giant corporations plans with unedited footage of their of their speeches <laughs> uh, it was absolutely beautiful <clears throat> uh, I gotta go this way now okay <laughs> <coughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's, uh... <laughs> that's, uh... That's gonna put the board on edge between one another. <laughs> and really quick, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, I gotta go down. <coughs> Maybe this way. Nope. How do I go down? Shouldn't there be? A... I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out in the city. That way, we are not scared to sit in the cafeteria. Ooh, that terminal. scientist? Ooh, he terminal. Ooh, Quick, Pavati, close the doors. They're all pretty unpleasant. <coughs> what do you think they actually do down here? <laughs> Welcome to the Human Resources Portal for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Humans are our fourth most important resource at the Ministry. <laughs> <coughs> If you have a complaint about anything work-related, write it about it here. You will feel much better after you do. Theodore Isaacs keeps eating my purple berry lunches. I know that sprat toothed little snot is the one doing it. I've seen him with cracker crumbs on his lips and purple berry stains on his lab coat. Working next to him and seeing him pick the remains of my lunch out of his disgusting teeth just makes me want to scream. <coughs> I think I, uh, I think I laughed a bit too hard. <coughs> there, I did it. I screamed a little. That felt good. I'm just going to sit in the kitchen and wait for him to do it again. I'll, 
I'll catch him in the act and then I'll come back and write up another entry. I'm going to be so livid. Oh, you know. <coughs> Wait, give me a quest for that. No, I didn't. Bugger. Well, <coughs> they didn't want to uh, talk things out, so I guess we're going to have to kill everyone. Get on, Pavati. Pavati, no! Sorry, Felix. Pavati, get up! Pavati! No! <coughs> the board is now bitter. <laughs> well, yeah, they should be. I'm fucking killing them. So where the hell am I going? I'm trying to find an elevator of some sort. Pavati, you're alone! <coughs> Heal yourself, lass. Come on, we gotta find an elevator that goes down. Not here. Was I going the correct way? Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? Vending machine. <coughs> Do you have any of the outfits I'm looking for? Possible connections to Finney as well. And, well, Tillman designed all those wanted posters. So UDL's interrogating Tillman? Ugh, it's disgusting. Can't believe I had lunch with the guy. Bummer, someone's getting interrogated just for designing wanted posters. <coughs> Where the bloody hell am I going? Oh, here we go. <coughs> Found the elevator. Come on, you two. It's time to throw away the facade. We're gonna kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That fact failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again. And the results were 0.003% different this time. With the words statistically and statistically... Animal testing. <coughs> Peter would be all over this. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go to the central lab. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just had to. Go around. <coughs> oh, uh, I think I soiled myself. Calm down, scientist. I'm not gonna kill you. Just the troopers. Take him down. 
Whoops, sorry. Kill the Cobra Commandos. Pavati, no, come back. Pavati, what are you doing? <coughs> the board are now scared. <laughs> they should be. Hibernation lab. Perfect. Now, how do I get down there? There should be a ladder here somewhere. Or, you know, I could just... Can't hop off the edge. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Wait, this is the way I just came from. Bugger. Okay, hibernation lab. Can I go this way? I can. But I don't need to go that way. Here we go, stairs. <coughs> So, what is this? Oh, the dimethyl peroxide, whatever it is. Corrosion weakness. <laughs> Suffering too many corrosive burns has made you weak against corrosive. I think I'll pass. <laughs> <coughs> oh, hey, a terminal. To the human experimentation station of the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Human testing is a required step for any new product or process in order to ensure accuracy. <coughs> the addition of dimethyl sulfoxide to the current round of tests has resulted in some improvements. Subjects are showing improved circulation and increased neuroactivity. <coughs> However, our formula is still missing something. We are still unable to fully revive subjects from long-term hibernation and removing their supply of dimethyl sulfoxide results in their rather excruciating death. The problem is compounded when we consider reviving and freezing subjects multiple times over their lives take matters to make matters worse. We've had a hard time of securing additional dimethyl sulfoxide. We may have to make do with this batch. Okay, let's transfer it. This procedure may result in the invalidation of experiment results and the death of human test subjects. Further information. Sudden withdrawal from dimethyl sulfoxide is highly lethal and will result in the cancellation of any in-progress experiments. Experimental integrity and test subjects' vitality can be maintained by leaving a 73%, 6 to 9% concentration in circulation. <coughs> Experiment details. Experiment authorization Rockwell Charles. Project Lifetime Employment Program. All objective to repeatedly revive human subjects from extended hibernation without causing the death of the human subject and the loss of associ associated productivity. Results inconclusive. Prognosis cautiously optimistic. Uh, transfer all that. <laughs> Yes. Suffer. And, uh, yeah. That, I think, concludes this episode. <laughs> Where we just killed a whole lot of people who were in, uh, who were in stasis. Tune into the next episode to see how it all concludes. <laughs> Choose.